Greetings, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Gamers Den, the show where you, the viewer, come to me, the host, Tanis Lopez, for all the video game walkthroughs and playthroughs, but you stay for the pop culture knowledge. Okay. I'm blame Leo here has uh, a, a Studio Ghibli uh, movie collection, and we figured in the year a good way to cap off the AMA Lounge for this year. Let's review a Studio Ghibli film. Which one, though? Well, how about the highest rated one? And look back through it. Well, we were going to do Howl's Moving Castle, but right. Draconis insisted we watch the mm. highest rated Studio Ghibli film. Right, and I personally agreed. Um, and then you remembered which one it was, and were kind of skeptical. Right, because <laughs> I had... I had and you I, walked in on a scene that was out of context. Right, with my sister. My sister was watching it in the living room with the big television that we got in there. And, um, we'll get to that sequence in a minute. But it's called Spirited Away. Um, for those of you out there who don't know, who don't know what this movie is, it is an anime. It's Studio Ghibli film. Studio Ghibli is basically Disney's little, one of, one of its animation studio, anime studios. Um, some of their biggest works include, um, and I'm probably, I've already said this on the channel before. Some of their biggest ones are like Keith's Delivery Service. Um, my Neighbor Totoro. My Neighbor Totoro. Totoro being the mascot for Ghibli. Even appearing in Toy Story 3 as one of Bonnie's toys. And, and uh, uh, House of the Castle. And of course, Spirit of the Way being its, some of the most recognizable works. And some of these characters, Kiki and her cat... Uh, Totoro, the big gigantic house thing, and No Face being some of the most recognizable characters from. I mean, the ha I guess you could call the house like, its own character, couldn't you? And wouldn't you? Somewhat. And uh, to a certain extent, I we, I haven't personally watched the movie yet, so keep that in mind. Um, but let's get into Spirit Away. It starts out pretty simple enough. Little girl and her mom and dad are going, they're moving place, moving to a new place. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Things quickly do not turn, turn very anti-simple very quickly. They go down a tunnel. And after a long jaunt through the woods and into what looks like an abandoned theme park of some kind, they start eating. And suddenly it's very apparent this isn't normal. I mean, for one thing, the food is still steaming hot. Right. They there's find a wind. It. There's a creep, eerie wind blowing through it. There's no sound. No anywhere. signs of people. There's not. Don't look like there's been a sign of life for a while, though. And yet there is piping hot food. There's piping hot food, and it doesn't look run down. Somebody's been taking care of this place. Somebody cooked that food. You bet your bottom dollar I wouldn't be messing with any of that. No, same here. <laughs> we we see that we wouldn't even get past in, fully into it. We feel that cool wind going. I don't know. I probably would. I mean, I probably would have walked at least as far as the weird cathedral subway station looking thing Maybe. at the beginning, and then I'd have been like, nope. Something don't smell right here. Something's off here. I'm leaving. I would have been a little curious as to <clears> what's, <throat> but I would have quickly gone back as soon as that wind blew through. But you know, my my curiosity sated. I'm gone. I don't even know anymore. Unfortunately, the girl finds out more. This isn't just the normal place. This place is a bathhouse for spirits, yokai, or as they're more commonly referred to in Japan. And, well, now she's got to find a way to save her parents. And the only way to do that is to get a job here. And she meets all kinds of friends. From a spider, an old man spider spirit. A Tsuchiguma. As well as some little dust, bun, dust bunny ones. They don't look they're like little dust balls that... I actually appear in my hero, Toto, my neighbor Totoro as well, so it's kind of cool. Kind of cool to see those little, they are so cute. Are there plush of those? You need to look that up. 
at some, we need to look that up at some Honestly, point. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if there is. If there's a plush in that, I want a little, I want a little dust, plush, little dust ball plush. Uh, look, look it up, guys. Look up my Studio Ghibli, uh, dust ball. You, uh, you, it, it, it'll most likely pop up like that. Or watch my, my neighbor Totoro or Spirit of the Way, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, we eventually meet. Uh, what's her name? What's the witch's name? Uh, Yababa? Yababa, yes. Um, and she's got a baby that, we don't see it at first, but then eventually we'll get to that. Um, she gets a job working at the bathhouse. Nobody likes her because she's human. She makes quite well, a few she's new... she's not really supposed to be there in the first place and all. Right, honestly. but, you know, stuff happens. Gotta make the most of it, and she does not complain. And she works, and eventually lets in a no face, the, probably the most recognizable character from this film. Um, and funnily enough, trouble starts brewing behind the scenes with that. All it wanted was a bath. Right, but stuff happens, and well, she well, no, it wanted friends. It wanted friends, but it was just like I'm gonna just sit here in the bath. Right, I'm just gonna sit here in the bath for a little bit. I'm but, just gonna chill out. However, um, while that's going on, Kid is just going all, doing all these things for everybody and everything and helping everybody help the water spirit, um, and everything, and slowly starts gaining friends here. They're starting to like her now. However, it quickly becomes apparent that something's not right. And... We meet her sister at some at this point. No net, no face is starting to just get starting to get bigger and bigger, and he's not wanting to leave now. Eventually, everything she the the girl manages to get and pull him away from all that, pull no face away from all that, and well, about the sister. Yeah, let's just say it's not pretty. Turns the turns Yababa's baby into a hamster, her bird weird bird thing into a little a yeezy bee little bird, and transforms these three little head green heads that are I guess interns, uh, something like that for her, uh, basically assistants of some kind. They, that's what they acted like, assistants, into the baby and everything. So, yeah, it's not, it's, things have gotten nuts. But, following up, we find out that he, that Haka, Haku, Haku I'm sorry, I, I don't know these names as good as I could. You know, I'm trying, I am trying, guys, be gentle. Still new to anime for the most part. Gentle, you say? Pinch. Mm. That's not gentle. That's not gentle. It was a gentle pinch. Didn't even pinch me, so. Mm. Do you want me to? Do it, and you're losing a finger. <laughs> All right. This light. However. Yeah, it was a joke. However, it turns out we might have gotten everything wrong. Your Baba is a deal maker. And very controlling mm. dealmaker. While her sister is actually super nice. Even going so far as to ask the child to call her granny. And everything. So, you know. But. But. There's a small, small little problem here now. Now they've got to figure out a way to get this girl home. Somehow. They've got to get her home. And by this point, the girl's had enough. She now knows what's going on. So she's given one final test. Which is these pigs are her parents. Now, I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm, I know I'm kind of glossing over a lot of story beats. But guys, I just watched it. And I'm giving you some of the, some of the big ones. But please, 
watch this film just like with all the films that we review on here on this channel watch the film if you really want to know more you know I definitely give this one four and a half stars out of five there is a small little problem here some of some of this stuff in the, some of the dialogue here and some like like it, the pacing does bring it down about a half a star but I can definitely see why people consider Spirited Away one of the highest grossing or highest rated films in Studio Ghibli's library, if not the highest rated. But, maybe it's due to nostalgia, maybe it's due to the fact that I'm actually, you know, I actually recognize the message with, with it. TV delivery service is better to me, at least, in my opinion. But, uh, I will leave this message for you that I learned from Spirited Away. It's, you know, it's not easy moving, and sometimes the neighbors aren't exact, it's a new world, and you have no idea what to expect. Sometimes, you just gotta roll with the punches, and everything, you know? And, uh, you know, persevere. This is, this is what I've gained from this. Um, but yeah, guys, that's been my review for Spirited Away and the last of the Anime Lounge for this year. And what a closeout. We've looked at everything from Pokemon, Yoga Watch, and, and more this year. My Hero Academia, and, and so many other shows and movies this year. And honestly, guys, I mean, anime is... I wasn't expecting me to be the main one doing the anime lounge, but, you know, I'm not going to knock it. It's been a lot of fun. You're learning a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm loving what I'm watching. This movie does not look like it came out in 2001. This movie looks like it came out more recently, like 2015 to 2017. That's how good the quality is. Um, however, like I said, due to a few pacing issues um, and a few things here and there, it does kind of take a half a star, but it doesn't knock. It's not a knock on the film. It's just, you know, some of it just seems a little off, but I'm not going to dock it too much. Um, would you say that's fair? You're, yeah. Um, I'm just, you know, I've got an anime expert over here that could, you know, evaluate that opinion a bit. Um, but it's a good film. I highly recommend it. And, of course, Cartoon Asylum, of course, I forgot to mention this with that video. Again, we've watched so many different shows and movies, and y'all have stuck around for the long haul. I thank each and every one of you. It's been a wild ride 2021 has been not as hectic as 2020 but we've actually managed to get a solid foothold and we've dug our heels in we're not going anywhere from this channel guys this channel is not going anywhere we're not going anywhere we might not have been able to use um draconis brother serious ferret if he even really wants to be called that on the channel at this point i don't even know if he wants to be part of the channel he doesn't and I honestly was... I don't think it's a good idea with with him right now you know but that's neither here nor there but y'all have stuck around and I know Draconis is in a lot of our videos this year but we do try to include him when we can it's just really hard he works he, he works a different job than we do we're able to get the weekends for the most part off. I've got to work Saturdays right now. But hopefully that will disappear next year. Don't know. But guys, keep watching. Keep liking. Keep subscribing. Keep making our channel grow a little bit stronger every day. And of course, guys, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. And of course, go to the comment section down below. But guys... It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be as easy going forward with YouTube kind of making the dislike stuff go away. But don't hesitate to like the video. 
Don't hesitate. And don't hesitate to dislike it. You don't like it, you don't like it. Show YouTube that we still want to use the dislikes. Not using the likes and dislike button at all. This is it's just gonna make them make it make them go away completely. I have I've I've sit, sit and stewed on this, and I was gonna say, don't want this if you don't want to leave a like or a dislike at all, don't don't. But that might actually make YouTube make it go away completely. I've seen people put in the comments, use me as the dislike button. Right, that that. How does that work? A couple of videos. How does that work? You like the, you like the comment, and basically that's you saying, "Hey, I don't like this." Oh, that's actually smart. Gets around that, but same time, guys, don't hesitate to use the like and dislike button. Show YouTube that we aren't gonna take this. We are the creators, but you guys have the the power. We just we just make the content. We can't fight YouTube on our own. We need your help. You know? But with that being said, hopefully you liked Spirited Away. If you did, go down in the comment section and let us know if you've watched this video. If you watched this movie at all. Um, did you watch it growing up? Did you watch it as an adult? Are you planning to watch it at all? Let us know. Start a dialogue, you know? It does it does help us in the long run. But at the same time, guys. You know, this is the last anime lounge for a little bit. Um, we will be taking a bit of a hiatus from the 26th, from the 30th. I need to remind you all every now and again. But don't worry, we will be back on January 1st. So, 2022, baby. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys then, and hopefully you have a happy, I have a happy holiday. Um, uh, I've been King's Lupus with me over here. As a consultant for this movie. Um, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Bye.